Lumbar Series, presented and explained by Amber Pickett. Routine lumbar series consists of AP or PA, obliques, lateral, and lateral L5, S1. You want to set up your room the best you can before retrieving your patient. Pull up the patient's information, having a wedge and let out for easy retrieval. You want to check a minimum of two IDs ensuring you have the correct patient. If female, check for any chance of pregnancy. For an AP or PA projection, you want to have a minimum SID of 40 inches. For your positioning in supine, you want to have no rotation of the thorax or pelvis, flex knees and hips to reduce lordotic curvature. For your CR for a larger IR, you want to direct your CR at level of iliac crest and for a smaller, direct at L3. Four side collimation to include SI joints and suspend breathing on expiration. Anatomy demonstrated lumbar vertebral bodies, intervertebral joints, spinous and transverse process, SI joints, and sacrum. For lumbar obliques, rotate body 45 degrees and align spinal column to midline of table and or IR. Direct your CR to L3 at the level of the lower postal margin, 1 to 2 inches above iliac crest and 2 inches medial to upside of asis. Collimate on four sides to anatomy of interest and suspend respiration on expiration. Anatomy demonstrated is a visualization of the zygopopophyseal joints. RPO and LPO show downside, RAO and LAO show upside. For lateral position, align mid-coronal plane to CR and midline of table and or IR. Ensure that no rotation of thorax or pelvis exists. Larger IR, center to level of iliac crest, L4, L5. For smaller IR, center to L2, L3 at the level of the lower coastal margin. Collimate on four sides to anatomy of interest, suspend respiration on expiration. Anatomy demonstrated. Intervertebral foramina, L1 through L4, vertebral bodies, intervertebral joints, spinous processes, and L5, S1 junction. Lateral L5, S1 position. 